Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about how hair care products can lead to acne breakouts. And I'm gonna be reviewing a hair care brand designed by dermatologists for people with acne prone skin. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Andrea. I'm a board certified dermatologist and I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the thumbs up. It really helps my videos out a lot. Now the brand I'm gonna be reviewing in today's video has been highly requested and that is Seen. But I wanted to draw your attention to the fact that this brand is currently 25% off at skinstore.com. Today's video is in partnership with skinstore.com. You guys know I'm a huge fan of their website for buying skincare products as well as hair care products. And they're currently having an amazing sale, but they gave me a discount code, Dr. Dre 10. If you use that code at checkout, you will get an additional 10% off these hair care products, which are already on sale 25% off. Now, as part of this partnership, they let me choose to talk about whatever products I wanted to in the sale, but give Given that you guys have been asking for a review on Scene Hair Care, I thought what better time to talk about them than when you guys can get them at a discounted rate. So I will have all the links to these products at skinstore.com down below in the description box as well as that discount code so you can save an additional 10% off. Hair care products can definitely break you out. Classically, this has always been referred to as pomade acne because it was seen in people who use really greasy pomades in their hair, but it truthfully can happen with any type of hair care product, including shampoos, conditioners, as well as a variety of styling products. You most often will see this happen on your forehead, the sides of your face, anywhere where your hair touches your skin for a prolonged period of time. A lot of people, especially those with longer hair, will also get pomade acne on their back or their shoulders where their hair touches. Now, when it comes to products that contribute to skin problems, typically things that are rinsed off are less risky. However, shampoos and conditioners, they definitely have prolonged contact with the skin and they can actually form a film on the skin if not rinsed off in total. And that is something that can lead to acne flares in some people. And products in particular that are more problematic are those that have a lot of plant oils. Coconut oil in particular, some people are exquisitely sensitive to coconut oil and coconut oil based shampoos and conditioners can definitely be a contributing factor in flares of acne. Of course, it's not as straightforward as analyzing an ingredient list, but if you find that using products that have coconut oil or maybe other oils like argan oil aggravates your acne, then definitely pay attention and avoid those ingredients. If you are like me and you live somewhere with hard water, then your shampoo can interact with the minerals in the hard water and form a film on the skin that's basically a type of soap scum. It can make your skin very dry and itchy and it can lead to, lead to acne-like breakouts. It also can cause a lot of problems in your scalp. Obviously that's where the bulk of the shampoo is gonna be going. And so if any type of film is left behind on the scalp, it can contribute to itch. That residue can cause what's called a folliculitis, basically little itchy pimple-like bumps in the scalp. And so that is something that people don't often realize. And bars, shampoo bars, they're really popular now because obviously less packaging, but that is definitely a downside of them is that they can form film, a film on the skin and that can lead to these acne like breakouts. Not to mention that film can leave your hair very unmanageable and prone to tangling. I shared this over on my Instagram recently, but a lot of people are super enthusiastic about using Castile soap in their hair. And I definitely discourage that. Castile soap, like Dr. Bronner's, is a um, typical soap. It's not a syn synthetic detergent. And as a result, it is very prone to making soap scum. And so it can really leave your hair very unmanageable and definitely can form that film on the skin that leads to, leads to acne. Then of course you have your styling products. If you use pomades or hair oils, these can transfer onto the skin and can with prolonged contact with the skin cause some irritation that drives the formation of closed comedones, AKA pomade acne. Um, especially if you have hair that touches your face and is in contact with your face a lot. So a tip is if you have a particular styling product that's very heavy, very greasy, but you really like the way that it helps your hair be more manageable or look better or whatever, then try and cut down on having your hair touch your skin. After you shampoo and condition your hair and everything is rinsed out, 
then you want to go ahead and wash your face and your body as opposed to a lot of times you get in the shower and you wash first and then you shampoo your hair and you don't get a chance to remove that residue with your face or body wash. And if you're somebody who likes to not shampoo your hair that frequently, your own oils from your scalp can aggravate acne. I mean, they are the source of acne. <laughs> Uh, so any of that oil that might end up transferring to your forehead, um, the neck can definitely aggravate acne. So I know the no poo method is really popular, but it aggravates acne and it aggravates dandruff. And then many hair care products may have a dye. Red dyes left behind on the skin actually can aggravate acne. So if you imagine that your shampoo may be leaving behind a residue, uh, especially if you live somewhere where there's hard water and the shampoo has a dye in it, that can definitely contribute to acne-like breakouts because th those, many of those red dyes are particularly very irritating around the hair follicle. But let's talk about Scene Hair Care. This is a hair care brand actually designed by a dermatologist with patients in mind who deal with acne breakouts related to their hair care products. So they have shampoo and conditioner. And what I love first and foremost is that they have the option of all of their products you can get free of fragrance. Fragrance is something that doesn't necessarily aggravate acne but can cause a lot of irritation. So they have a shampoo and conditioner that is free of fragrance. And they also have a shampoo and conditioner that has a scent to it, if you like scent in your products. And admittedly, you guys know I really like a scented shampoo, and these do smell really nice. So the scented ones just have a little bit of a pink label, whereas the fragrance-free ones clearly stayed on the bottle fragrance-free. But otherwise, the ingredients are the same. Now, the shampoo is formulated with uh, sodium lauryl oil methyl isothionate. This is a very mild surfactant that offers gentle cleansing. It foams well, so you get a nice lather with the shampoo. But what I like the most about that particular surfactant in shampoos is that it rinses off easily. The shampoo is also sulfate-free. Now, sulfates are not necessarily bad ingredients, they actually offer very intense uh, cleansing, but they can be drying and that can cause irritation for some people. Now, they're not typically an ingredient that leads to acne, but if you have acne prone skin and you're using really harsh surfactants that can dry out the skin, cause irritation, and that ultimately downstream does contribute to worsening of the acne. So the shampoos are free of sulfates, they're also, all their hair care products are also free of silicones. Now, silicones are wonderful in that they lubricate the hair, they impart shine, they improve manageability, but they can lead to a buildup and potentially a buildup on the skin if the shampoo leaves a residue behind. And that buildup too could contribute to, to acne-like breakouts. So these are free of silicones, although I wanna emphasize that both silicones and sulfates, they're not demon ingredients, they're not you know a complete no-go. But for some people, they could be contributory to acne-like flares uh, related to shampoos and conditioners. So these are free of that. And I really enjoy these products. The shampoo, like I said, offers a nice uh, lather. And I love the scent on the scented ones, but I do really appreciate that you can get these free of fragrance. Because as I've said, many people develop allergies to fragrance and then they have to avoid it. It can be difficult to find hair care products, let alone hair care products that are formulated to not be as, you know, problematic when it comes to acne. So the shampoo is a great one, and then the conditioner will help to neutralize the charge left behind from shampooing. That is something that happens when we shampoo. We, the shampoo ends up with leaving the strands charged, and that's why you get static and the hair is more prone to being tangled. So the whole point of conditioning is to kind of neutralize that, as well as to deposit things behind that. Coat the hair, make it more manageable, and smoother, shinier, and um, overall healthier, less likely to experience frizz. So the conditioner is wonderful, and it doesn't have any heavy uh, butters or waxes that could leave behind, a, if a residue is left behind, would otherwise potentially be problematic in clogging pores and aggravating acne. 
The other thing I really love about these is that they're free of a common preservative allergen, methyl isothiazolinone, which is in a lot of shampoos and conditioners. And many people develop an allergy to that and they get rashes around their hairline and their eyelids, the sides of the neck, not acne, but rashes. It's called a contact dermatitis. So these products are free of that particular preservative. Instead, they have phenoxyethanol, which is a wonderful preservative that is less, far less likely to cause skin problems in comparison to, in comparison to methyl, methyl isothiazolinones. <laughs> The conditioner also has hemisqualane in it, which imparts shine to the hair and is very lightweight and doesn't leave behind a residue. The shampoo and conditioner are safe for color treated hair. Um, if you do keratin treatments on your hair, it's safe for that as well. And I just wanna show you the subtle difference on the packaging here of the scented one. Uh, so if you're like me and you like a scent, I think you will enjoy these because it's a nice fresh scent, kind of similar to salon shampoos. You know when you get your hair shampooed in a salon, when you get your hair cut, that whatever the shampoos they use, they always seem to have such a nice scent. And it can be hard to find a shampoo that reproduces that. These really have that nice salon quality scent to them. Many of you use heat styling for your hair. I understand why it makes the hair look better, more manageable, but your hair strands do end up suffering a lot from the heat. And so it may behoove you to use a heat protectant. And Scene has a blowout cream that uh, I think would be a great choice. They have it again, free of fragrance, and then one with that same scent that I, I enjoy. Now these products protect the, the hair strands from heat, but they don't have those heavy waxes that could transfer onto your skin, form a film and aggravate acne. They have hemisqualane in them, which is gonna help reduce frizz and it's gonna help the hair be more manageable and it's gonna help cut down on tangles. And it also leaves the hair very glossy. The way to use these is to apply just a dime to a quarter size to damp hair. You wanna actually carry it from root to tip. That way you're making sure to protect the entire strand from the heat. Do that and then heat style your hair. You will find that the hair is a lot more manageable using a product like this and long-term it can help in cutting down on frizz and hair breakage. If you heat style your hair, I strongly, strongly encourage you to use some kind of a heat protectant. And it actually can be challenging to find heat protectants that are free of fragrance, let alone not super greasy or heavy. If you have curly hair, you may enjoy using a curl cream to enhance your curl pattern and to help your curls be more manageable. Similar to heat protectants and other styling products though, the curl creams are often a culprit when it comes to acne-like breakouts or acne breakouts um, because they have heavier ingredients, uh, things like olive oil, heavy waxes that can leave a film on the skin and contribute to those breakouts. So if you have curly hair and you're looking for a good curl cream, Scene has you covered. Again, free of fragrance or one with that same great scent. These differ from the blowout cream and that like the conditioners, they have the shea butter subtle esters that help reduce frizz and help impart shine additionally along with that hemi squalane. So really good ingredients that aren't gonna leave behind a residue on the skin and aggravate acne. Um, and these are great too if you um, like to use a leave-in conditioner. That is, I, I actually, I don't have curly hair, but I do like to use leave-in conditioners on my ends and I've really enjoyed these. They're, they're quite good. So I highly recommend them if you are in the market for a curl cream that is free of common aggravating ingredients. So those are the products. Uh, they are all free of dyes. They're vegan, um, cruelty-free, and uh, safe for color-treated hair. I think they're really good. They're a really good option, and I'm glad to have had the opportunity to review them today since they are on sale at skinstore.com. So definitely check that out. And again, don't forget to use my discount code if you are in the market to try these out. I think you guys will really enjoy them. Hopefully this review was helpful to you all. Comment below, and if you have tried these, what your experience with them was. If you like them, let me know. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.